Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. Today I want to give you a little bit of an update on my beta tank because there's something in there that I didn't put in there and it's swimming around and it freaked me out when I first saw it, but I now know that it's harmless and I want to show you guys because it's freaking cool. So here it is. Here's the beta tank. For those of you who haven't seen my other videos to know what's going on with this tank, this is a Fluval Aquarium and it has my little beta buddy in here. This is Arlo. He is a copper colored Dumbo Half Moon Beta. Please excuse all the like green stuff. That's actually from the moss balls, I think. I think they're just trying to grow, so they're shooting off little pieces of growth, and it just gets a little bit out of control looking. It's like, it's like they're due for a haircut or something. And there's a chunk of it that got stuck up here at one point and it's just kind of taken off and it's growing up there. Oh, hi Arlo. Are you saying hi? So the green stuff everywhere is either coming from the moss balls or it also could be green hair algae or green filamentous algae of some sort. I'm not too sure, but I think it's coming from the moss balls. So. The swimmy things. Can you see them? You might even be able to see them right now. They're little tiny white dots swimming around. And I have a microscope, so I will show you what they look like under the microscope so you can see them better. But I'm holding the camera as still as I can right now. Oh, I should have it on a tripod, but I don't. But you can see the little white dots swimming around, right? What they like to do too is kind of hang out at the bottom and crawl into the gravel and eat things from there. Look at them swimming around, they're so neat. They can also be found just hanging out on the glass. And they also like to hang out on the suction cup and the leaf thingy that is meant for Arlo to lay on. So what are they? Well, they're called seed shrimp, and they're actually not technically shrimp. They're technically crustaceans, just little, little tiny crustaceans. They swim around and eat decaying plant matter and detritus in the aquarium. Pretty cool. It's like I have my own little cleanup crew and I didn't even have to do anything to get it, so. I'm liking that. I'll put a link down in the description of this video that shows you the microscope I use and where I got it from. Microscopes don't come cheap, but if you do have a microscope, you can more specifically diagnose what it is that's wrong with your fish or what kind of organisms you are seeing in your aquarium. So here's what these little guys look like under the microscope. To me, they look like little coffee beans. They have two sides to their shell and it opens and closes. And when they open it, they have little appendages like little cilia or leg looking things that come out and help them move around in the water. They also appear to have little antenna that come out near the top of the shell opening. You can see that they're almost hairy. Around their entire shell they have these tiny little bristles or hair looking things that just make them look hairy, I guess. <laughs> the lens I'm looking at them with now is the 4 times lens, which when combined with the 10 times eyepiece the magnification of these guys right now is 40 times. In this clip, I have them on the microscope slide with also a slip cover placed over it. So they're trying to move around, but they can't because they're kind of squished in between the microscope slide and the slip cover itself. Here they are with the slip cover off, so it's literally just a tiny little drop of water placed on top of the microscope slide. What they tend to do, it looks like, at least on the microscope slide, is sit still most of the time with their shells closed. And then all of a sudden they'll open up their shell and just zoom around really fast. And then here they are at 100 times magnification. I actually think they show up better with this microscope when viewing them at 40 times magnification because this is just a little bit too close <laughs> and you can't really, if they move at all, you really, they, they just go out of frame. But I wanted to zoom in a little bit closer just to see if I could get some more detail. I think they're pretty fascinating and there are just tons of them in my aquarium right now. It's insane, but my aquarium is all the cleaner for it, so I really don't mind that they're in there. So I've had this microscope for actually a couple of years now, but this is the first time I've ever shown you guys a video of me using my microscope. Because every time I do a scrape on my fish, 
if I think there may be something wrong with them or just, you know, just to check up on them, I never find any bugs on them, which is awesome and it's a good thing because <laughs> it means I have really healthy fish but I also haven't been able to share anything with you guys about my microscope yet so this is my chance. They like to sift around in the sand. They actually like bury themselves down in between the little pieces of sand and eat the detritus that's under there. In my aquarium I used to have an issue with this long filamentous brown algae crappy icky stuff that would just grow all over the place out of control and actually I haven't had a problem with that at all anymore. Ever since the ostracata came in they have just eaten it all and kept it staying really clean. <laughs> this tank is actually a little bit overdue for a water change compared to how I like to do my water changes. I like to do it every week, but I think it's been a couple weeks. Shame on me. But other than the moss balls kind of growing out of control, it looks super, super clean still. And that's because of those seed shrimp, my little cleanup crew, keeping it all in check. Pretty cool. They have like a, a somewhat hard shell, so I at first thought that my beta might like to eat them, but he doesn't eat them. I saw him try to eat one once, but then he spit it right back out. I think he doesn't like the shell on them or something. Hi Arlo. What you doing? He's got a seed shrimp like on the glass right in front of his eye. He just eat one? <gasps> It looked like he just ate one and I don't think he spit it out this time. All right, well, I'm pretty sure we just saw him eat one of them on camera, so I guess he does eat them. Although I swear, you guys, one time I did see him eat one and then spit it right back out. I also figured I'd show you guys that I've added a heater over here. You can just make it out inside of this compartment here. There it is. I don't even have the suction cups on it because it just wedges right in there next to the filter tube and stays put pretty well. I'll put a link in the description section of this video of what this heater is and where you can buy it. I bought it from Amazon. I love buying things on Amazon. It can be hard to find a heater that's small enough that it'll fit in this little compartment of the Fluval Edge. So I'll put a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out if you want one too. I also added a thermometer. It looks kind of ugly. I don't really like the look of it in the tank, but I like these simple glass thermometers just because they're so simple and easy to use. I also have found that I have some planaria in this aquarium now too. If you're not familiar with them, they are like a little tiny, tiny flatworm and they have kind of like a triangular shaped head and they eat basically the same kind of things as the seed shrimp and they're also perfectly harmless. I've had them in my goldfish aquariums from time to time before. Not too often because I think they're attracted to and they proliferate because of decaying matter in the aquarium and usually my goldfish aquariums are very, very stark and clean because I like to keep bare bottom tanks for them because it's so much easier to clean and I have so many of them. But my beta tank has sand and also some live plant matter and all that. So it's a lot more likely to attract planaria and seed shrimp and other things like that. Thankfully, both of these uh, little organisms in my beta tank are perfectly harmless and it's kind of cool actually. So I just wanted to share them with you guys. Have you guys ever had planaria or seed shrimp in one of your aquariums before? If so, did you try to get rid of them or did you just enjoy the ride and let them stay and be a part of the ecosystem of your aquarium? For me personally, I think that's what I'm going to do because they're not hurting anything and they're not really bothering me either. I think it's actually kind of cool to have kind of a little ecosystem of sorts going in my aquarium. So I don't mind them at all and I'm not going to try to get rid of them. If you're new to this channel, I do videos every Friday and sometimes on Tuesdays as well. I have a huge fisher mount in my garage where I have tons and tons of beautiful goldfish and this channel is usually all about goldfish, but I am doing some more beta videos and maybe some other types of fish videos in the future as well. So stay tuned and if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed and you wanna make sure that you see all of my new videos because YouTube has been making some changes for a while now where even if you're subscribed to a channel, you don't necessarily see every one of their videos, which really sucks, right? Because if you subscribe to a channel, you, it means you wanna see their videos. At least that's what it means when I subscribe to a channel, so. But they have added this little bell button that you'll see next to the subscribe button below each video. So you can click on the little bell button and it'll send you a notification every time there's a new video that I post. That's a good way to stay in the loop and also be one of the very first ones to see my new videos when they come out. 
Thanks for watching another solid gold video. I hope you enjoyed this little mini update on my betta fish. And until next time, stay gold.